with new innovative solutions and products constantly hitting the market, digital technology is now a business norm. It has to be a top priority. But within the corporate world, some are doing it better than others. So how do we actually best deliver digital? An interesting way of visually thinking about digital is by looking how communication habits have become entirely data focused. I mean, when was the last time you spoke to someone without interacting digitally first? But don't just take my word for it. According to Data Reportal, a total of over 5 billion people around the world use the internet today, equivalent to over 63% of the world's total population. Plus, there are also over 5 billion unique mobile phone users in the world today. So where to start with delivering digital? Well, let's begin with what you can provide, whether it be a product or a service. It needs to be as user-friendly as possible. I mean, let's take, for example, the actual products. Do they need to be physical objects? Let's look to PSS or product service systems for guidance. PSS starts from the premise that companies must offer the function of the product, not the actual product itself. This concept is based on developing the real needs of the consumer, who does not necessarily want to actually own the thing, but to benefit from using it. One of the biggest examples of PSS in action was highlighted by the multinational computer software company Adobe. Adobe suffered in the 2008 financial crash, but through a change of their sales model, which utilized more data, were able to reposition themselves and increase profits. In 2009, Adobe began its transformation, returning to its status as one of the most innovative companies out there, focusing on three main pillars. Reoccurrence, more money, more profit. Dematerialization, no need to deliver, no distribution costs. And scale, it's easier to scale when your products only use digital media. There was one idea that could hit all of the pillars at once, cloud computing, and it worked. Welcome to Creative Cloud, a perfect example of a product service system. And since its introduction, Adobe has seen its revenues jump from 3.8 billion to 4.2 billion. Not bad, eh? Another more obvious way the competition can potentially separate itself is via communication establishing digital communication or a digital presence. A brand's digital presence has become an essential part of its portfolio. It strengthens the business image and establishes a direct personal connection with the audience. The first step in being recognized as a market authority in your segment is being present in all your audience's channels via an omni-channel approach. And the key to delivering that digital presence is providing quality user experiences. Essentially, it all comes down to using your digital platform to provide the best possible customer care and that perfect customer experience. Let us show you what we mean through Zappos, an online leader in shoe shopping, which uses digital feedback to better serve its customers. Zappos invests heavily in online marketing and its social media campaigns, using data and its digital presence to put their employees and crucially, the customers first. You see, one of the ways to make consumers feel comfortable is by connecting them with happy employees who will go that extra mile. It's about focusing on what the customer actually wants and needs, not what the company wants the customer to want or need. You see what I mean? This is a key part of an effective digital strategy. Listen to your audience and plan accordingly. And putting the customer first is easier when you know who the average customer is. Targeting the audience allows for the creation of a profile of what typical customers are like. Knowing a customer's age, interests and schedules enables you to create an experience that feels customer fitted. When we talk about Amazon, we talk about their recommendations for products. They base this on purchase history and views. And you want the results? 
Well, recent figures have suggested that personalized recommendations across Amazon's websites drive more than 30% of their total sales. You wanna know how Amazon became one of the biggest companies in the world? Through its data usage and digital presence. What a combo. That brings an end to this four-part digital series. We hope you have enjoyed this brief look at the digital stratosphere. And it's been just that. A quick look at some of the key areas that surely make up the most crucial aspect of all successful modern businesses. Going digital is a vast topic. And in this video series, there's only so much we can cover. Luckily, our detailed digital report which of course we will leave a link to in the description of this video, goes into far more detail. Finally, please do subscribe and drop us a like and a comment if you've enjoyed this series. Bye for now, keep innovating.